Hi, Alessandro. Welcome to Alify Minute. Thank you very much. I'm very pleased to be here. Alessandro, the cadmium telluride solar cell technology is the only thin film technology that has reached to date a significant market share. Which are the reasons of this success? Well, uh, cadmium telluride is a very easy uh, material to, to deposit and to grow. Uh, it is a very, very simple phase diagram. And uh, this is uh, the main, uh, the main uh, uh, advantage of, the, of this uh, material uh, compared to other thin film uh, solar cells. We know that uh, thin film solar cells have the advantage of uh, having uh, less uh, um, need for, for energy, uh, low temperature deposition, but at the same time, many, many, many materials, uh, thin film solar cells are quite complicated. Cadmium telluride is the simplest one. Why there is only one big manufacturer in this segment? Yes, I think uh, uh, there can be s some changes. First of all, uh, it is not really the only one because uh, there are some other smaller uh, producers. In particular, there is one uh, uh, European uh, company which is providing uh, the, the providing uh, fabrication machines uh, for uh, for cadmium telluride modules. So they, they are developing actually the whole process themselves, and they have also very good efficiencies. And they can sell uh, the plants for producing. So they don't produce modules, but they produce the, the plants, for example. And this is already not, not that small. And there are also other, other small, uh, smaller uh, companies. Maybe you can name some of them. Uh, the one I mentioned is the CTF, uh, which is in Germany, and they, they are... Uh, as I said, they're producing the 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 product the the production plants the the the, the machines, but they are delivering a, a process complete process, and uh, other ones are uh, smaller ones are like uh, Lucintech in uh, in Ohio in the U.S. There is a one in China which is called ASP. And do you believe that these companies may scale up capacities to compete with Crystalline Silicon and with uh, First Solar, which is the big manufacturer I mentioned before? The, the the possibility, the potentiality of uh, developing uh, new new pro new production plants uh, is there. In particular, for example, for CTF, it is clear that they they can provide already now a, a production plant. So, in principle, the question is whether the people would like to invest in this technology or they are still. Uh, more uh, on the silicon uh, stage the, the 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 big advantage is that uh, with silicon you need much more energy and uh, especially for us and europe in particular europe the cost of energy is higher than in china so if you can switch to thin film technology you you can uh, be able to deliver low cost uh, modules pro produced uh, uh, internally how much increasing the efficiency of cadmium telluride solar cells will be important for this segment? And how much will this help uh, increase market share? At the moment, the efficiency is, around, is between, uh, and we know that uh, First Solar has reached 22%, and uh, other companies have uh, overcome 20% efficiency on a small scale. And uh, we also know that uh, the big one of the big advantages of cadmium telluride is that there is less uh, distance, less uh, difference between uh, the efficiency in the module and the efficiency in the small uh, in the small uh, area uh, solar cell. So um, we are already at a pretty high efficiency. Uh, the possibility to increase this efficiency is. Uh, connected with the uh, uh, improvement of the technology, in particular of the doping of the cadmium telluride. So by increasing the open circuit voltage of the, of the cadmium telluride, this is the main uh, limitation at the moment. If you can uh, overcome this limitation, you would go to, uh, to overcome, to go over 25% efficiency. And how much is important to reduce production costs? You have to consider that the uh, cadmium telluride is, pro is uh, produced only by one manufacturer. And um, the, the, if you compare the manuf manufacturing, uh, um, uh, the, the amount of the, of the modules uh, built, uh, produced uh, if, for cadmium telluride compared to silicon is much, much less. So if you can scale, if you, you, you are comparing now two completely different scalings, 
like uh, silicon is produced in really mass production, cadmium telluride uh, and much less. So if you can compare this, if you can improve the scaling, uh, you would uh, even reduce the cost. And uh, by increasing a little bit the efficiency, you can you you will uh, even reduce the cost. But already at the moment, the 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 the, the cost are. Uh, very competitive with uh, silicon solar cells. Alessandro, many claim that this technology has some sustainability issues because it, it contains cadmium, which is a toxic element. Uh, so, uh, unfortunately, there are some uh, limitations in the perception of the people. And uh, still I hear the, the thing that uh, cadmium telluride is uh, toxic. It's actually cadmium is toxic, but cadmium telluride is a very stable compound. So whenever you are dealing with a with with a compound, you are uh, out of risk of uh, releasing a toxic element in the atmosphere or in the environment because cadmium telluride is very very stable. You need to go uh, temperatures higher than one thousand two hundred degrees to um, to release the cadmium in the atmosphere. So it is uh, it is just a question of perception in this sense. Our time is up. Thank you for your five minutes, Alessandro. Thank you. Bye. Thank you.